Hello, folks. Welcome back. We are on Dawn of Zombies DOZ today. There was a new update. Uh, in this new update, we're going to go through the information. And then we're going to jump into a little bit of uh, gameplay afterwards. But I wanted to go over the information so that you guys uh, can uh, check this out. So, the Free Riders, Brotherhood, and the Citadel Corps, or Corps, call on everyone to defend the last territories. They are ready to grant access to the unique weapons, equipment, and other valuable rewards. At your request, we've completely redesigned the faction quest system and significantly improved it. With this update, you will meet new characters and even visit the Citadel Corps outpost. There are weekly faction missions. We've replaced the old faction quest system with the weekly faction missions of the Free Striders Brotherhood and the Citadel Corps. This game mechanics is more detailed and comprehensive to get access to these missions. Oh, sorry, to get access to these missions, you should complete all the main plot quests preceding the first foray to the warehouse and talk to Riveter. She will introduce you to Strider Cobra, who became who came to the alert system by the mysterious bunker. After the conversation, you'll need to complete the Free Riders Brotherhood's missions and repair the alert system citadel corps weekly faction missions will become available once the alert the alert system is repaired um mm -mm -mm. so as we have here a few screenshots uh this is cobra so we need to talk to her uh, active missions are located on the main screen and marked with a loudspeaker you can also find them in the activities tab in your pda Event missions were also moved there. So here we have in our PDA under the activities, we have our quests. You'll get three missions of varying degrees of difficulty at once. For completing faction missions, you'll earn faction reputation points, which fill the reward scale. Uh, we'll show that in the next one here. Uh, the more difficult the mission, the more points you get for completing it as you complete missions and accumulate points you can get chests with unique rewards from the mission window there may be healing items the free strider brotherhood backpack design and the citadel core backpack design and other rewards so right here is sort of the timeline or the the mission guide so as you increase the number of points that you get, you get more and more rewards as you go along. Uh, the final one requiring, I think it's 5,000 or 6,400 points. So this will reset weekly uh, and you'll be able to get rewards every week. As part of the faction mission, uh, weekly faction missions, faction missions premium is available. It provides access to premium rewards, including unique factions, decorations, legendary weapons of the Free Striders Brotherhood, and legendary Citadel Corps weapons. Moreover, premium increases the number of points you get for completing missions. Note, premium is valid until the completion of the weekly missions during it was purchased, meaning that if you buy the premium, it's good until you complete the final one. So it's not uh, time-based, and then you can purchase the next one afterwards if you choose to do so. Um, unlike common tasks, weekly missions can be completed for gold at any stage. To do this, use the Activities tab in your PDA. You will still get faction points. Weekly faction missions of the Free Striders Brotherhood and the Citadel Corps last for a week and alternate with each other as the week ends faction points reward scale and faction mission premium reset to zero quest items are taken by cobra at the striders camp and an officer at the citadel core uh, outpost so i imagine that's what this one is uh, and that we'll probably see next week uh, for me right now i have uh cobra at my base uh, and that's who I report to for my completed tasks 
Um, mm -mm -mm. Where were we? We're down here. Uh, until the alert system is repaired, Cobra takes quest items in the shelter. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Faction mission rewards. Now you have the opportunity to assemble new decorations. Citadel Corps propaganda stand and tamed aberration of the Free Striders Brotherhood. You can find required craft resources among the premium rewards of the respective factions. There is no limit on the installation of decoration, but at the same time, you can get a bonus from only four decorations of the same type. Search for activators in the faction mission rewards. So these are the two new um, decorations that we have that can give us uh, increased um, mm -mm skills. So finding these things are going to be very important. Legendary weapons of the Free Striders Brotherhood and the legendary Citadel Corps weapons appeared in, in the game. There's the VEPR, A, Ifrit, Groza A, and PMA Static. These weapons are available as a reward for completed stages for players with Faction Mission Premium. Within completing weekly faction missions, you'll be able to you open the unique Freestrider Brotherhood backpack design and the Citadel Corps backpack design. You can get the design fragments from the chest in the mission window. Note, weekly faction missions are an experimental mechanics that is currently in the testing stage and can be changed. Its further development depends entirely on your interest in it. In addition, in the future, you will have the opportunity to discover new sides and secrets of the Citadel Core outpost. Golden status. Now, every Strider has an opportunity to make it easier to survive in the last territories. Active golden status will save you time and facilitate some in-game mechanics. Golden status is active. I guess when golden status is active, Distribute items from your inventory into boxes automatically with just one button. And that's actually this button, orange one down here in the bottom right corner, where you'll be able to just kind of one click, put everything away into your chests. Uh, the way it works, weapons and armor will go into chests that already have weapons and armor. Uh, and then the rest will just kind of fill uh similar slots or similar items to max and then fill up empty spaces after that uh, in the shelter take items required for exchange with the traders from the price list window automatically one chest of unique equipment per week so extra skill points for every level you reach and the institute facilities double energy with its accelerated recovery Hunger and thirst are off while you're in your shelter, so saving you water and food. Instant movement between locations and 100 extra gold per day. Active golden status is valid during a week and can be extended at any time. A three-day free period is available. That's what I have activated right now. It's very interesting, I'll be honest with you. Uh, new target selection mode. A new target selection mode nearest target selection has appeared in the game. This mode saves you from having to manually switch to the nearest target when there are more than two enemies on the screen. The game will automatically focus on the nearest enemy no matter where you are and how many enemies are around you. Common target selection mode with a lock on attacked enemy until the target is manually changed will also remain in the game uh, so that's that little um, uh, target icon so we can uh, we don't have to manually change things anymore when we used to run around with a few enemies uh, you might have had one met enemy that was a little faster so they would get closer to you but you were still attacking the person behind them so this now um, can be selected in your uh, settings menu to be able to uh, switch automatically to the, the enemy that's closer to you. Uh, other changes. We've completely redesigned the settings window due to new features for customizing graphics and gameplay. We've added the ability to run the game at 60 FPS 
you can turn it on in the window setting. In this case, the load on your device will be significantly increased. This setting is recommended only for powerful devices. We've added the ability to disable some of the visual effects to improve the device performance. You can enable it in the game settings window in the graphics section. This option is currently only available in the Institute facilities during fighting with specimens. In the future, the number of locations with this option will be increased. We've changed the rate of fire of some rifle models. Their damage per second and combat level stats remain the same. Special motorbike uh, modifications became available. You can buy them from the splinter after your motorbike is assembled. So these are down here. There's the tail box. Um, unfortunately, oh, maybe if I, oh, there we go. <laughs> Which provides eight extra slots for more swag. The weapon master kit slows down weapon durability loss. Motorbike mechanic kit slows down armor durability loss. Motorbike bag unlocks the third quick slot. First aid kit restores full health after receiving a deadly wound and increases movement speed for five seconds. Scythian motorbike gun after dealing a certain amount of damage. The active ranged weapon will start to deal damage to several enemies at once. And then the motorbike shield after receiving some damage. This will provide immunity to slowdown effects, give you the ability to ignore some attacks, and protect you against periodic damage. That's nice. <laughs> I'm not even close to having my motorbike, but nice to have when we uh, eventually do uh, and then also at our request we provide improved the weapon selection system you can now choose the weapon for the quick slot to open the menu where you can choose a weapon yourself hold down the weapon selection button if you tap the weapon selection only the first five weapons slots in your inventory will be available for the quick slot the weapon selection button is now located above the attack button in the lower right corner. So that's this bad boy here. And as you can see, there are here, might as well do this. So this is the, the button, I guess. And they, as you can see, only four items are selected and allows you to quickly uh, change weapons. Uh, we're getting to the end here. A note, uh, any item in your that your character can hold in their hands, including tools as axes and hammers, is a weapon. We've improved displaying of the items that belong in the same set. Names of these items are highlighted with a corresponding rarity color. We've moved the windmill in the shelter to the edge of the map to make your interaction with NPC more comfortable. The item sorting button is now available in the inventory. So those are the notes for the update. Um, I guess we'll call that the Striders Brotherhood and Citadel Corps update. Oh, that's a little too far right here. There you go. Well, Free Striders Brotherhood and Citadel Corps update. So give me a second. We're going to jump into... Uh, some gameplay, and we'll show off some of these little features, and uh, we'll go from there. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, folks. We are now into the game. Uh, so a couple of the little features. Um, if we look down at the very bottom middle, uh, where it says Golden Status Active. So right now we have the three day, the free three day activated. When you click on that, this pops up and tells you what you have so you get your sort inventory uh into item packs and shelter boxes instant travel on the global map which we'll show off in a second here uh pick up items for trade from the shelter boxes with one click uh and then store a section with unique offers of the status a store section with unique offers uh at sale prices so the very first thing we have status so this is the store section with special prices prices there you go uh the next thing is when you go to a chest you have the little orange icon in the bottom right that if you click it will empty out your pockets and put everything 
with like type or the same type of, of items. Uh, we're not going to do that right now because I want to keep my inventory as it is. And the other section, as you can normally do, is you scroll through. We have the Brotherhood Missions. So this is where we're at. I've already completed two of the smaller ones. Um, we still have 120 points. But what to do, and this goes through all the little things, and then we can go to the missions. And the missions we can actually go through if we go into our PDA, go to activities. The first three are faction missions. Uh, so the first one that we would get uh, 60 points for is kill a friend of the beast of the forest outskirts. We'll get to that one another time. But we're actually working right now on close contact. Kill any enemies with melee weapons in yellow and red zones. Uh, and then we also have a more difficult one, which is kill any enemies with melee weapons in a red zone. And that would give you 750 points. Or if you have a ton of gold, you can actually complete this for 3,250 uh, gold. So we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna go work at it. Um, and then Cobra, once you've activated the faction missions, uh, is way back here. So there's Cobra there. Uh, I can't really talk to her just yet because we haven't completed a mission. And that's what we're gonna head out to do for now. But uh, we have the uh, tamed aberration that we are going to build. I'm going to set that pretty much right here. So we'll put that bad boy there. And we have the uh, Citadel Corpse Propaganda Stand, which we will build right next to this. Actually, I wonder... Ah, this one doesn't really show much. This one, can we rotate that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so those are the two new decorations that go along with all of the rest of these. Uh, we're going to start running out of room here soon. But at the same time, we will activate one of these. Or actually, both of them. Uh, set that in there. And we don't have a shotgun. But, as you can see, you get 8% increased damage or critical chance. And if we go ahead and activate this bad boy we can see that maximum electric damage is increased by four percent uh, i'm going to oh i guess i can't do it from there we're going to use this bad boy and we also have three new weapons that we went over quickly in the game so let's show off these stats the groza a uh combat level 2638 damage or attack speed seven Damage, 91 to 100. Uh, modifications, a spark flask deals electric damage. So we get, what was it, 4%? Yeah, 4% increased damage. Uh, so that will be nice. We have a new uh, fire weapon, the Vepper A Ifrit. Sounds like some type of uh, uh, air fry machine to cook potatoes or something like that. Anyways. Uh, combat level 2634, attack speed 1.31, damage 351 to 526, deals damage over the area, and deals fire damage. And then our last weapon, the PMA Static, uh, combat level 2614, attack speed 1.75, damage 304 to 330, and deals electric damage. Now, we're not going to use these very much. We'll just show them off uh, a little bit here and there. But I need to use our melee weapons to get... Uh, how many more was it? I think it was nine more. Oh. Yeah, okay. So the missions... I should have just went through the PDA. Uh, we need nine more enemies. Now, there are two different uh, things. The golden status is separate 
from the mission tasks. So this is a different thing. We can see if we wanted to extend this, it's $12 Canadian. If we go to the, um, the, the faction missions, so this is a weekly kind of thing. And to activate that, that would be $6.49 Canadian. So whatever that works out in your currency, you'll have to double check. Now, the only thing we have left to do, um, yeah, I think I've got enough melee weapon to get nine more kills. <laughs> so the golden um, status is one of the one of the features is that you get an extra hundred XP. So if we look at our energy bar at the top, we have two hundred instead of one hundred. Then the other thing, because we're going to head over to the scorched lands here, uh, we still have the walk and run abilities, but if we click run, we are now instantly there so you don't have that little uh, dotted line and your guy takes 10 15 seconds or whatever it might be to get to the location it gets there instantly as we can see we still have our 200 energy so that's what golden status that's one of the big things for gold status but that being said let's go merc nine more enemies now it won't be enough in terms of points to get our next chest but it will be one of the the missions completed and we'll get uh, a little bit closer to being able to do that so why don't we actually show off i can kind of uh um so there's the uh the menu so the the gun uh icon if you press and hold it will allow you to directly choose whatever weapon you want or the one of the first five slots and i think i actually forgot we'll have to do it when we go into the overworld but i think i might actually why don't we do that because i wanted to double check i think i have the nearest enemy active but I'm not sure, so we'll, we'll double check that. And yes, I think the, the 60 FPS really, um, so I think it was under quality, right? Uh, okay, we're on medium, so that should be okay. Um, language under notification support, no. Notification, I don't want that. No. Oh, there we go. Uh, target switch button on. Weapon switch button on. Hunger thirst indicator. I guess we'll put that on. Item durability. So we got everything. Uh, locked on attack or nearest target selected. So and that's what we'll do. And that's under the battle target selection right here. So we can either lock on one target or switch to the near selection. Oh, that's why I, I didn't think we had it on, but we do now. So if we have an enemy that's a little faster, it will switch to that person and you don't have to manually do it yourself. All right, we need to kill nine enemies. So we'll start off with uh, just showcasing some of the new weapons just a little bit. Uh, I don't intend on using these that that much, but I do. And uh, wolves do count as enemies for melee weapons. So why don't we one shot? Oh, and see, there we go. It switched over to the tagger. And he's being electrocuted. Nice. Give him another shot as we're running. We'll switch over to this finish them off with melee and that gives us one more kill ah uh, okay i had not noticed the and i actually don't like it 
Um, notifications. Nope. Nope. Where'd I find that again? Language. There it is. The hunger thirst indicator. I didn't like it. But if we go back into our activities, and we see we now have what? Ooh. Is that because we didn't use melee the entire time? Oh, I thought maybe we would be able to... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight that firefly. Although, I mean, we could. Let's, let's aggro... Let's aggro you. Get over here, Depth Decayer. Take you out. A couple swings. And now, we should have 12 out of 20. There we go. So, you do have to do the entire kill with melee for it to count um mm -mm -mm -mm. we're gonna go fight firefly we're gonna go get rid of him does have some good stuff come on hit him hit him again hit him again and one more time cute so we're gonna switch over to our band-aids yep what you got for me firefly Uh, oh, oh, I saw somebody coming after me. Haha. <laughs> Come here, Tagger. A couple swings. That will be a enemy number 13. An Undertaker. Number 14. They're just lining up for me. Thank you, fellas. Uh, how's our... Okay, we can take all. I do have to loot that Firefly, though. We gotta make sure we have enough room for whatever... They have. Uh, okay, no, I want the Devil's Urchin. Uh, sorry, sorry. Those are a little more important. Next, uh, any free food? Come on, baby. Nope. Does Mr. No, Mr. Tent? Do you have anything for me? No. Mr. Box? Box of junk. sugar we're good for that for now and this is a wolf so again if we take a look we have 14 once i kill actually uh where's my spear there's the spear once i kill mr wolfie we will now have 15 so the wolves count that's actually pretty decent uh, try to get Mr. Chard here. Stop right there, buds. Thank you. A little sneak. Keep on taking them out. And another enemy down. We got nothing. Uh, 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 uh. Actually, why don't we eat one of these? See if I can. Oh, no. <laughs> Missed my sneak attack. Dang it. That's ah, alright. Oh, no. Why'd you go to that weapon? Why? Oh, no, no. no. Alright. We'll poison Mr. Beef here. And let that take effect. Gives us what? Maybe about an extra three damage. 72. Hmm? Whoa, that was actually a lot more. Oh, six. Keep that going. As long as it doesn't break, we don't go to another gun. And then on the next enemy, we will use one of the new weapons again. So that shock one, the electricity one, uh, I think the, I can't remember which one we used. Are you going to have like one health left? You are, oh, that's such... So cheeky. Grab that. So what was the weapon that we had used? I think it was this one here, right? The the Groza. Let me just double check. No. It was this one then? Yeah, that was the one. So this is. What's this again? This was the PMA static. So that was pretty decent. This thing. 
seems to have a pretty decent fire rate. So why don't we just uh, lay into the... My God. No, 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 I don't want... No, no, get away. Check out this guy. Wowzers. Okay, this is a sweet weapon. Now, I did not see, and I do want to see, does it do, like, my damage? Uh-oh. Let's, uh, get a couple of heals in here. And we are going to take out, uh, no, my, my guy. What are you doing? I do not want to be collecting resources right now. Oh, it does. So it accumulates damage over time. Yes. So we'll let him uh, kind of go. Oh, no, just keep running, my friend. Keep running. Did our... Oh. Okay, so... Nope, let's get back to him. He's being electrocuted slowly here. So we're going to keep on piling that up on him and just let him cook. So he's, uh, oh, he's healing too, isn't he? Yeah, three max stacked damage over time. And he's done. Ooh, we got to level up. So, oh, actually, I already started. So we'll let him electrocute himself. Thank you. And then we will switch over to some melee. Just to get everything finished off. Thank you for the dollar redo. You should have a dark shard. Yes, you do. I have no room for a dark shard. Sorry, jewelry. You're pretty and all, but nope. All right, where are we at with our deaths? We need three more. Oh, we're starting to be irradiated. Nothing out of there. Oh, 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 oh. come here, Tagger. Spank you around with the wrench a little bit here. There's another death. Two more. Check out a couple of these uh, little boxes. Um. Anything we tools? I do like my some tools. We'll get some tools. The acid. Acid is good. Mm -hmm. All right. We can get cloth fabrics all day. Let's go find our last couple of enemies. You beef? Yeah, you beef. You beef, my friend. I got some beef with you. Die. Die. Thank you very much, friend. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's clear this area. Get over here, decayer. Oh, you got a shotgun. Uh, luckily, not too, too damaging. We are going to have to get home and take care of this radiation before it gets worse. We have a few people over here. Uh, come on over here, buddy. I think this is going to be our 20th kill. And I do want to loot up this little section, given that it is kind of the uh, go-to area. Take care of him. Oh, oh, oh no, okay. We, we were using a melee weapon. No, we didn't. Oh, shucks. Are you serious? Oh, no, we completed it. All right. So let's try um, our new flaming. Um, give me a second there, Chard. I just want to try the new fire weapon. Oh, that's a sh that's a shotgun. And we get dang. Oh no, 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 no. We're not, uh, we're not going to waste anything else. You get a big old sword, my friend. Uh, oh, actually, we... Ah! I'll save the room for something else. Now, let's, uh, let's take out 
one of these. Can I? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get them coming through here. A little decayer. Slice and dice. Down you go. And we will put together... What do we do? What do we do? I would like to use one of our new weapons. Why don't we use the electrical pistol? PMA static. To finish off. I've got a last fella here. Time to do that on the lickety split. No, no, no. no, no. Here we go. Vindicator. So he loses a few extra health. Yeah, it's nice that he's a little on the slow side, so we can kind of let the uh, the damage over time accumulate. I guess we'll do a lap, won't we? Eh, or close to it. He's down to half and less. Boop. Poor guy. He's being zapped like that. <laughs> Must literally be a pain. Oh, 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 oh. So, did I turn off the automatic target? Hmm. All right, Tagger. Oh, jeez. Where are all these guys coming from? Take care of you. Take care of you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Finish you off. I think we probably lost our other fella. Nice, we just got out of the out of the area of that one. Oh no, there you are, Vindicator. I hit you, buds. Oh, we stacked them up. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. Stand there's like, no, nah, fam. This ain't gonna happen. He's about to swing on us, and it's like, mm, nah. Save them for next time. All right, so let's put that away. Those are fun. Those are nice. We're going to save those for a rainy day. Now, vehicle. I would love for you to have a zero spark. Because I kind of need them. Oh, no, but I will take those rad pills. There was rad pills, right? Free... Oh, no, these are the ones to make rad pills. Okay. Um, we need to eat. And we need to drink. There we are. How about you? No, thank you. We'll come over here. Oh. Um, you, you want to, can I stab you through the wall? Nope. All right. We'll get poisoned here. Start countering that. Take some acid. No, no. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Not one bit. So we're in the basement, but we're going to leave. I want to go take care of this chard and open up. Uh, I think it's a military chest that's inside the house. And our chart respawned way over there. All right. Well, while we're waiting for him to show up, we'll loot uh, some lost stuff. And, uh, ooh, we got some food. So why don't we eat this stuff while Mr. Chard is coming our way. Poison them, hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I gotta, you know, maybe get out of the confined space. Just uh, bring them over here. Come on, Chard. Make this easy on yourself. You know. There you go. Work our way back to the door, because this should be boop, game over for him. Yep. And, uh, oh no, it's a box of junk. 
Okay. What do we get? Nothing great. And then I do not have an axe with us. So, that is going to be that. We are going to head back out. I didn't bring any of the tools because I was more focused on being able to get our 20 kills so that we can go back and talk to Cobra and then kind of show uh, you know the accumulation of points and then we will continue afterwards and getting uh, so again instantaneous run Boop. so that's the golden status I you know I don't know if it's worth 12 bucks but you know for some of you it might be for me I don't think so and the loading screens are longer that's for sure but nearest target selection it wasn't oh locked on attack okay uh, whatever one way or another we'll figure it out it's one or the other or only two selections so we will go over and talk to Cobra so Cobra will now give us our 225 points that get us closer uh, so I think yeah so now we just have to go into our activities and we now can see that the new second task that we have that's worth 275 points is in the name of law kill any bandit in a yellow zone and red zone so you got to kill 25 bandits hmm that's uh that's a lot of bandits not gonna lie but those are there and uh if we nope wrong one there we go, Brotherhood Missions. We now have 345 points. We are 55 points away from unlocking. Um, oh, not even. This is one if you buy the premium. Oh, I had, I didn't see those earlier. Uh, but number two, number five, and number seven are reserved for premium pass owners so we need to get to a thousand points for our next uh, small mission box and you can receive up to five items which include these so obviously the more frequent stuff uh, band-aids uh, fragments for the new uh, backpack blueprints and things like that uh, more rare are the weapons and the very rare are the clothing so that's a quick overview uh in my i guess opinion of the update i like it i'm not gonna lie to you i like these uh these weekly activities um that are nice and also the other thing i forgot to mention when you do the task if you buy the premium as you can see right now it's locked there's a premium bonus you'll actually get extra points um, and if you do the maximum one that's 150 extra points that makes getting to uh, the five thousand four thousand six six thousand four hundred a little bit easier um, if you're doing those high level ones but uh, let me know what you think of the update uh, and the changes I said I I like them so I have uh, I think it's gonna make the game a little bit more enjoyable even though I've been enjoying it quite a bit lately um, this just makes it a little bit more but uh, that's gonna be it for today folks again let me know in the comments what you think of the update uh, and uh, on that note I'm gonna wish you all a great rest of the day morning or evening wherever you are take care <laughs>